for the last few decades dinosaurs have made it into the mainstream media. They've been featured in films, television and books. Throughout the history of our planet, untold billions of species have come and gone throughout the ages, facing extinction level events that required new life to take on different forms. To this day though, people are able to get their hands on ancient relics of the past, and these include things like dinosaur teeth and bones. Although these ancient giants have been extinct for many years, they still fascinate us to this day, and although we've learned a lot about them so far, there's still an air of mystery surrounding them. Going back a few years ago, it was announced that a creature resembling a dinosaur was discovered in Jasper, which is a small city in India. As you can imagine, the photographs soon made their way around social media, and everyone was trying to figure out what this thing was. It caused excitement among some groups as it was suggested a small group of dinosaurs had somehow survived without being detected by humans. The story goes that an electrician was sweeping the floor inside a substation that had been abandoned for many years. While he was looking around the building, he discovered a strange looking object. After pulling it into the light, he could see what appeared to be the remains of a dinosaur-like creature. The thing that was off about this though is that the creature in question didn't look old, and it certainly wasn't fossilized. The creature reminded many of a theropod dinosaur. Theropods are described as dinosaurs that had hollow bones and three-toed limbs. These are perhaps the most recognizable of the dinosaurs. One thing that's known though is that a dinosaur or any other creature cannot be in such good state after such a long time. Others went down the route of speculating that some scientists had tried to create a dinosaur of their own, but something went wrong and the creature ended up being abandoned. With that being said, not much information came from the story, and it was eventually forgotten about. The story made the rounds in 2017 and it wasn't until early 2019 that we got a potential answer for what this creature may have been. One paleontologist said the following after reviewing the photographs. The interesting thing about this discovery is that I don't think it's a hoax. It looks like a real creature and if I'm being honest, I think someone is just having fun. In all fairness, it does have a slight resemblance to what a theropod dinosaur would look like. But of course we know this isn't the case here. What we're most probably looking at is some type of mammal. Others have suggested this creature belonged to the weasel family, and I can agree with that. Others haven't seen the funny side and have said that things like this shouldn't make the news, whereas other paleontologists have said that it's fine when stories like this make the news, but it's important we set the record straight on what it is, and that what we are seeing here is some type of mammal that hasn't long passed away. One creature that's been put forward for a possible candidate is that of the marten. It's interesting to note as well that many animals that pass away don't look like what they did in life, and this seems to be the case with this creature. As of today, researchers and scientists agree that what we're looking at is some type of modern mammal, most likely a marten. This isn't the only controversial discovery that's been made in the field of paleontology. A few years back, a 68 million year old bone from a T-Rex was found that had soft tissue inside, and right from the get-go, this discovery left people with many questions. The discovery was made by Mary Sweetshire, a molecular paleontologist at North Carolina State University. The discovery was made in 2005 when her and her team made the incredible discovery. Soft tissue and blood was found inside a Tyrannosaurus rex specimen, even other scientists were confused as they thought that soft tissue should degrade in less than 1 million years, and here you have a 68 million year old fossil that's still showing soft tissue. However, as of today, new research has suggested that the iron in the dinosaur's body preserved the tissue before it could decay. Another incredible dinosaur discovery was made in March 2011. This was when a group of Canadian miners were doing their routine work at an Alberta mine. The group of workers discovered a dinosaur fossil so well preserved that even its skin colour was visible. The fossil could be described as a well preserved dinosaur mummy of a 110 million year old dinosaur. This 18 foot long dinosaur is known as a nodosaur. All the dinosaur fossils that have been found till now consisted of bones only. 
This is the only dinosaur that's been discovered in such a perfect condition that its bones, armour and the skin are well preserved. This is the first time we're able to see a dinosaur exactly as it may have been millions of years ago. The scientists believe that Nodosaur was a herbivore, and it had thick, half a metre long spikes on its skin. The researchers believe the reason why the fossil has been found in such an amazing condition is because it remained buried in the sea for a long time. According to the archaeologist, the body of the Nodosaur was swept away in a flood and ended up in the sea. When it landed on the sea floor, it created an impact crater because of its weight, and as a result it was quickly covered by the sediment. This protected the body from being scavenged and it also prevented the decomposition. So today we have this perfect fossilised body of a giant that once roamed our planet. It took the experts six years to remove the fossil from the rock that surrounded it. More than 7,000 hours were spent to carefully chip away the rock, and underneath the skin of the dinosaur. This dinosaur fossil which looks more like a statue is present in Alberta's Royal Tyrrell Museum. Researchers have said it's one of the most impressive fossils we've ever discovered. Another mysterious dinosaur is that of the Spinosaurus. Before we can talk about what we don't know about the creature, we need to first discuss what we do know about the Spinosaurus and its nature. The name Spinosaurus roughly translates from Latin to mean the spine lizard. Today, scientists and paleontologists have already constructed a partially completed skeleton of the creature and this is based off of fossil findings located in Egypt. Although they weren't complete in their findings, they were able to estimate missing bone structures and reconstructing other areas. Of course, as might seem obvious with this type of method, this has led to a wide range of debate among research scientists and paleontologists as to the creature's true size and skeletal structure. However, more fossils are being found every year that help us to get a better picture of the natural species of the creature and what it most likely would have more accurately looked like in the wild. From the gathered fossils thus far, scientists believe the Spinosaurus was roughly 41 to 59 feet in length, weighing anywhere from 7.7 .7 to 23 tons in weight given its age. The species most likely stood at 14 feet tall, slightly shorter than the 15 to 20 foot tall Tyrannosaurus rex with a massive sail-like spine running down the length of its back that would have allowed the creature to look much taller compared to other species of its time. Outside of that gathered information, most of the knowledge pertaining to this creature has been entirely speculative. Another interesting feature to notice about the Spinosaurus, of which it mostly derives its name, is the long sail-like spine that protrudes from the back of this creature. The function of the dinosaur's hump has been one of the biggest debates in paleontology, with many different groups of paleontologists and evolutionary theorists proposing their own ideas on what the purpose of the spine could have performed. Many scientists believe the spine could have been a tight skin-like structure similar to that of the wing of a bat, that could have helped the creature to regulate its temperature by having large blood vessels running through the sail. Other scientists are quick to assert that the large spine-like structure is massively larger than that of other species with similar formations, and that it could have helped to support a much larger weight than that of a skin-like structure, and could have perhaps been similar to that of a large grouping of feathers and could have mostly been used for display purposes, inciting fear in other enemies of a similar size, or even for that of demonstrating breeding behaviour. Lastly, one of the least popular theories that circles around the spine is that of the debate surrounding the creature's diet and posture. Scientists believe that the Spinosaurus could have perhaps lived the majority of its life in the water, and that the spine could have acted similar to that of a sail, or to allow the creature to cut through the water much easier and reduce drag, similar to that of a large dorsal fin of a shark. As of today, the Spinosaurus is one of the most debated dinosaurs in the field of paleontology, and every year new theories come out regarding what this creature would have looked like and how it would have behaved. So what do you make of these dinosaur mysteries and discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.